What's up guys? Today, Allison and I are headed to Mesa. It's like, it's another city within Phoenix that's a million miles away, but... In the greater Phoenix area. In the greater Phoenix area. It doesn't matter how far away it is because today we're going to visit Rick and Jackie Mullins. And I've talked on the Cigars Daily channel about how we've gotten a chance to help other cigar shops get their doors open and get started and everything. This is one of those shops. They just opened up a couple of weeks ago and we got to sort of work through the licensing process and even product selection and uh, some of the humidor design stuff. Like we sort of just worked with them and it's awesome that they're open. It is awesome. So we're gonna drive down there now and we should probably grab some lunch on the way. Yep. This will be the hardest choice we make all day. <laughs> what do you want to eat? Don't act like it's hard because I'm a woman and I have a hard time making I didn't decisions. say it's because you're a woman. I uh, never said it was because you're a woman. No. I never said it was because you're a woman. Can you, can you all see me being thrown around this vehicle because of how he drives? Stop! Sorry. Alright, Popeyes. Love that chicken, Popeyes! That's how the commercial goes. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want that? One second, we're deciding. We'll only need like 20 minutes. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay, how can I help you? Can we get one sausage breakfast burrito and... A chili relleno burrito with beans, just beans okay, and rice. And a chili relleno burrito with beans. Just beans and rice. Just beans and rice. Look at this. They've got their Gurkha sign up already. Oh my gosh. It's like they did it legit. Oh, Perdomo's coming here too? After you. Yeah. Hello. How you doing? Oh my gosh, dude. Welcome to our gate. It's bitten. Hey, Hi. who is this? Hi. Hi there. What is your name? Buddy. Oh, you're the most important part of any cigar shop is a good shop dog. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Hi. How are you? Hi. You look wonderful. Yeah. This place is amazing. Isn't it fun? Oh, it's my just God. Fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's great. Come here. Good to see you. Here, come over here. Let's look around. Can we just, right. can we just sure. look around for a minute? This is great. Is this the top shelf stuff? Some of it, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Alma del Fuego. Got your Padrones up in there. Did, did EP Carrillo have the Encore available? You didn't have to wait for that? I got that from... Uh, from, a, some, from a guy? Yeah. From a guy I know. All right, yeah. sweet. <laughs> look at it all. Did you get your flavors over there? Yeah. You didn't keep any flavors in the big humidor, huh? I tried, well, I got a few, but these are the strong ones I want yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these are pretty potent. Yeah. Dude, this is, dude, you did it right. Ceiling, you weren't kidding about the ceiling tiles. It's amazing. They're awesome. <laughs> it's a work in progress. I don't know, man. It looks pretty dang ready to go to me. I know, I keep saying it's working in progress. Look at all this. I think it's there. It's Camacho. This is great. Shelves look fantastic. Your back stock's all right behind every facing. The selection, this is a great selection. Everything in here. Guys, this is Rick Mullins. He used to work with me at Cigar Warehouse when I was over at TNT over there. Yep. And like, this was like six months Taught of work. Taught me everything. Taught him, everything. Taught him everything he knows, except for the sales part, mm -hmm. which you regularly stomped my ass at selling. I'm lucky. <laughs> Rick is a Marine, and he works harder than just about anybody I've ever known. And now, after six months, this shop looks freaking awesome. Thank you. You guys did, and you guys got permits and everything. All that's everything. done. Everything is right. done. Everything is done. This is great. So what have you been smoking in here the most, dude? Me? Yeah. I'm all over the place. You really? So how is every are people coming in? If people yeah, found, found out you know, about you yet? We're still on need to get social media going, but yep. we're getting a good look at that. This is you guys got all the warfighter stuff over here. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Which one of these do you like the most? I like pretty much all of them myself. Really? It's, there's a, I'm overwhelmed with it, some of the flavors now. Dude, everything is just awesome here. Well, let's go smoke. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Dude, he's awesome. Not getting, getting the Christmas supplies up for yeah, humanoids and everything else. Yeah. I need to grab a few more sticks while I'm here, too. 
see. You see these? Oh, wow. For the policemen? Look at that. And then I have one for the fire department. Firefighters, too? Pride protection people. That's amazing. Yeah. Check the bathroom out. Oh, okay, yeah. You can't. You haven't seen everything until you've seen the bathroom. That's our advertisement room. Advertisement room? That's marketing. Unisex. Good job on that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it'll just turn on. Look at that. Oh, wow. Is that cool? That's freaking awesome. That was Rick's idea. That's a great idea. Everybody buy cigars after they came out of there. Really? Guy bought a whole bunch of cigars and then he came out and he goes, Oh my God, I didn't see those and there were are they? So he bought some more. Okay, so this is my opportunity to grab stuff that I don't normally get because I don't carry it. And so anytime I'm in someone else's humidor, that's that's really what I'm after. So there's a lot of stuff in here that I've had, though. Let's see. I know that oh yeah, there's a few things here. I probably got to grab a Matilde. Ah, oh, the Connecticut looks good. I think I'll do a Rosado. Let's see here. Rosado is a bunch of... Gran Habano, we've got Gran Habano. There's not a lot that I don't carry or that I haven't had, which is good because that's really kind of my job to know about all this stuff. So I think it's kind of comforting. So I know that I told you I thought the ceiling tiles were too expensive, but it looks awesome. It really does. Everybody somewhere. Every, yeah, I bet, man. It's just perfect. Hey, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Oh, are you? Did you know what you're getting? I do, yeah. All right. Good. How are you? Good. I'm getting ready to have to do a reorder on those. Awesome. Oh. Oh. Buddy? Stop it. You got your own. You got Cheetos over here. Uh, I think I saw one more in there that I want. What was... Uh, I saw something in there that I hadn't seen before. Vicarious or? No. Well, it was somewhere over here. Let me put this in the ashtray. Let me see. What did I see? <laughs> I just want an excuse to shop more. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll let you just because I know you. <laughs> Alright, you're saying 650. Where do you get your matches at? I was getting them from JC Newman, but this is another thing that you should be able to request and get for free. Bags and matches. And a house of Cuevas from Oliva. Nub. I know this was a bag. We have nub ones. We have nub? Okay. And you should all have to look at who all does it. Because I honestly, I bought some of the JC Newman ones, but they don't make them anymore. JC Newman stopped making all the matches. I still have some of those. I don't lay them out because everybody has to steal them all. Yeah. You want some all? <laughs> thank you, man. Well, thank you. I couldn't be happier for you guys. Did you think you expected this big or? I didn't expect it to be this big and it, and I didn't expect it to be like. Want to receive? No. Business. This uh, posh is business card. Some people keep at it. What did you think? It was amazing. Amazing, right? They did a right? great job. I can't believe it. That was like, they did it all just right. Yeah. That's exactly, I mean. That's not how we started. <laughs> usually when I go into a, yeah, I know. We didn't start that way. We started in a little shoebox of a building. I guess that's one of the benefits of being able to retire and have some kind of money to start something up. That's really the thing that stops most people. All right, what did you like in there? The ceiling. <laughs> The ceiling was awesome. It's such a scary thing to do, to go do something like that. Like, you you put in all this money, all this time, all this energy, and there's no guarantee that any of it is gonna go well at all, right? So, now here they are, they've opened up and things are starting off pretty well. Mm. Even still, even once you get the doors open, that first year is always really, really scary of like, all right, are, are enough people going to come in? Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Are we 
gosh. Well, they're in a good place, man. They're set up really well. I'm happy. Do you know how to get home? I think so. Okay. Nope, I don't. I'm lost. But really, what I'd like to do is take Silas to do that thing. Right on record. Take Silas to the uh, virtual reality deal. Well, that would be fun. You could just grab him and go do that sooner than later. Okay. All right. So we'll go get Silas. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to probably take him to go do some virtual reality video games. Okay. And uh, maybe we'll do some go-kart racing too. Do you think you would like that? Do you think you would like that? I do. I do too. That's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to go party. He like will think that night. that's great. He will like that. Yeah. So Silas and I are going on a secret mission. And he does not know where yet. He's trying to guess where we're going. <laughs> All right, what are your guesses? Give me your top guesses for the secret mission. Um, I feel like we are going in, um, to a jumpy place. A jumpy place? Yes. No, not quite. Not a jumpy place. Um, to Peter Piper Pizza. Peter Piper Pizza is a really good guess. We're not going to Peter Piper Pizza. Um... And this is my last one. This is your last guess? Yes. All right. What is your final guess? My final guess is we are going to a workout place. A workout. We're going to go to a gym and get a really good workout. We right? are? No. That's crazy. That's not fun. What we're going, our secret <laughs> mission is a mission of secret fun. That's why you can't even know what it is, because it's too much fun for you to even know. If I told you right now, your head would explode. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? A bad head explode or a good head explodes? <laughs> Probably a good one. <laughs> it would be no fun if it was a bad head explode. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh, kind of place? Did you say a go-kart place? Yes. That's what it is. You guessed <laughs> it. You guessed it right. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> no, we can see inside. The Power Pizza and Game. <gasps> it's just what I want. That's the reason why I like Peter Piper Pizza. It's because of the video games. Oh, yes. Blaine, this is the best working place ever. Go karts, go karts! But Dad, do you think I'll be able to go on the go karts? Because that looks like um older people um can only do it. I can't do it. Let's find out. How do you feel about their age discrimination against you? Sad. You feel sad that they won't let you drive race cars? Because mm. they don't understand what it's like to be a boy and to be seven? And want to take over the world? All right, we're gonna go do something else that's better, okay? okay. All right. I thought we were gonna do games. You know what, buddy? We may be able to come back and do games. <laughs> what we're gonna do is something different than racing cars right now. Got it? Okay. Let's hop in the truck. Go get in. So here's my question: If you were going to open up a raceway with go kart, Silas? Would you make it so that a seven-year-old boy could race? Yes. Yes? Doesn't that seem like it's the only thing that makes sense? Yeah. That makes good sense, right? Yes. Would it seem like you should make it so that a seven-year-old boy could play virtual reality video games? Yes. That would seem like a logical thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. So when we go to the place where you could do all those things, they don't let you do it. Do you like that? No. No. And I feel like in the world that we live in today with our current climate, I can call that age discrimination and there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. That's discriminatory by his age. Fortunately, directly across the street, there's something better than driving cars that's not age discrimination. Would you like to be able to fly today? Yes. You do? You want to fly? Yes. Do you want to go fly right now? Yes. All right. Well, then that's what we're going to do. Yay. All right. Good. Yay! Yeah! Time to fly! Yay. If I can find the place, I mean, that's the other thing. 
What do you think? Sound good? All right, let's go sign up. I'm getting you, getting him dressed. You're the cutest skydiving guy in the world. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you ready? Go get your, oh no, you gotta put your eye, your glasses on before you put anything else, yeah. else on. Okay, it's the end of an incredibly long day. Had an absolute blast with Silas at the iFly. And, you know, they should really have go-karts for kids under the age of 10. It seems kind of silly to me. When I was a kid and they had go-karts, there was always a go-kart with a seat next to dad or you could sit between dad or mom's legs and ride around with them. This is beside the point, but it seems silly. Nonetheless, I had a blast going to Rick and Jackie's shop today. It was like, a, like however many months ago it was that they started, they came to me with... Rick's dream with the idea is the same dream as me wanted to open a cigar shop and it takes something truly special and kind of profound to take a dream off the shelf and then push it out into reality. It's I mean, it's kind of a gutsy move. I think anybody who started a business would tell you that. And it reminded me of something about commitment that I learned when I was very, very young. When I, was, I must have been in grade school when we all went to the big public pool and it had, you know, the low dive and it had the high dive and everybody in my class wanted to go on that high dive. Like you couldn't be cool unless you jumped off the high dive. So we all got in line and I waited in line with everybody else and then climbed up all the stairs to get to the top of the high dive. And when I got out to the edge of the diving board, I was too scared to jump. And I was like, gripped by fear. I think I, I might even got down and like crawled back, <laughs> crawled back to the ladder. And everybody's booing me and telling me what a wuss I am and everything as I like climb back down. And like for the rest of the week, it ate me up inside. Not only that people were like picking on me, but that I couldn't do, I didn't have what it took to get it done. So the next time we went back to the pool, I went back and I got in line for that high dive and I climbed to the top and I was determined to jump. And I had the most incredible realization, even as a young kid, I realized at the edge of the high board that if I just took one step, that gravity would do everything else. And I, that stuck with me for a long time. And I think about a lot of life that way. If you just take one step out there and commit, like a lot of other things can fall in place. And whether that's getting married or having kids, going back to school, starting your own business, like, of course, all of those things require a lot more work than just taking one step. But there's typically a period that you come to, there's a point you come to where it's like, you've either got to commit or you've got to walk away. And I've had this conversation with a few other guys that have wanted to start cigar shops and have wanted to put their own products on the market. When they bring them to me and they bring them to Cigars Daily and they're like, what do you think? Like, that's one of the big questions. Have you hit that point of commitment where you're all in on this? Because if you're not, then you have to get to that point before you can really determine what you're gonna be. So I wanna know what it is for you. What is the big thing that if you were all in, you would fire off and do tomorrow? Drop that down in the comments below. I've still got some editing to do and I've got, a, like, I definitely need a lot of sleep tonight. So I appreciate you guys watching and following the vlog. I've had a blast making this channel and all the videos. So I'm gonna keep doing that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Tim, I'm signing off. I'll see all of you in the comments.